What's going on there, folks? Uh, Earthmaster here jumping in. A little bit of uptick in earthquake activity off the coast of Northern California right there. We've seen that coming into the uh, live seismograph stations on the uh, Chapman Mendocino, California station. Also a separate earthquake occurring there in Japan shortly thereafter. Uh, you can take a look at the uh, seismograph stations over here on the left bottom side of the screen. We'll show you the activity uh, that I'm talking about here in Southern California. Uh, there is the 4.2 earthquake off the coast of Northern California showing up very definitive, definitive, de <laughs> definitively, there we go, um, very strongly there in the Northern California area uh, just a few minutes ago. Um, also a uh, earthquake there in the Japan area following that Mendocino, California earthquake 4.2 showing up there in the Japan area. So far, we have not gotten an update on the earthquake 3d globe on the seismograph or the uh, magnitude of that earthquake there in Japan uh, but just looking at the uh, some of the uh, graphs there on the uh, live data doesn't look like it's too large well never mind I'm gonna take that back I am gonna take that back um, take a look folks at what's going on there um, on some of the uh, seismograph stations there okay hold on before I go too far, we got a lot of earthquake activity coming into the live seismograph station currently. Mammoth Lakes potentially picking up that 4.2. We got the Japan station there showing a separate earthquake of its own. The Kermadec Islands region in the New Zealand area showing a separate earthquake as well. So stand by for just a minute. It looks like we may have a potentially larger earthquake coming into the live seismograph station here. Um, we'll check that out here very soon. Uh, but for now, the USGS just showing that 4.2 there. Go ahead and check out the uh, latest information there on the uh, USGS map um, there, on that map right there. And you can see that 4.2 off the coast of Northern California there in the southern branch of the Gorda Escarpment uh, area, right, uh, right just to the west of the Cascadia subduction zone. This area has seen a, uh, a significant uptick in activity over the last couple days here, uh, very sensitive area when it comes to seismic buildup over the past, well, what, 300 and something years, 320 years since the last uh, Cascadia Mega Thrust earthquake occurred. Uh, 9.0 earthquake. That's a, that's a pretty big one, folks. Um, and that's coming. It's coming out there for the, for the folks that live out there on the western coast. You guys need to be uh, prepared. It's a beautiful area out there, there's no doubt. But uh, the big one's coming, and um, who knows when it's going to happen exactly. Um, let's see here. I want to check out the uh, seismograph views once again. Uh, you can see that activity kicking up there in the Kermadec Islands region, showing some type of significant earthquake activity there. Um, I'm still trying to gain a little bit of information on where this is taking place where this earthquake is happening at. It's not the 4.2. 4.2 is not going to show up uh, in the Kermadec Islands from Northern California. It's something different. Uh, separate earthquake somewhere out there in the Pacific that's a little on the large size. Uh, I guess we can check out the EMSC site. Considering those folks there are normally uh, a little on the uh, quicker side compared to the USGS. <clears throat> see what we got there. So we got that 5.7 showing up there. That's the Japan quake that we picked up on the live seismograph stations there. So 5.7 occurring out there in the Western Pacific. We had just talked about this on the update video about the potential for further larger scale movement in this area of the Pacific Ring of Fire. It's been very quiet over the last 24 hours or so with activity occurring in the southern area along the Kermadec Trench and deep movement in the Fiji Islands area. This area was uh, pretty much on target for forecasting out here. Not forecasting earthquakes, but we're looking at uh, some very quiet zones. And that included the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, uh, which includes Japan there. And we're right on target for that, uh, uh, for that, um, for that movement. Let's see what else we got here. I'm kind of... Uh, kind of wondering if that 5.7 is going to show up there on the Kermadec Islands area or if that's not a separate earthquake itself. Um, it's possible that this earthquake may be upgraded a little bit. Uh, I tell you what, look at the USGS. It takes them forever, completely forever, 
to uh, update their maps here. The EMSC is awesome, but sometimes they're wrong when it comes to the, uh, the depth and the magnitudes of the earthquake. So that's why I don't choose them too often. But I tell you what, they're very quick. And uh, I applaud them for the, uh, the quickness of updating information there because the USGS is just really lagging behind uh, when it comes to uh, providing data to the public on the earthquake activity there uh, that's taken place. So once again, a 5.7 earthquake taking place out there west or uh, east, I should say, off the coast of Japan. Well, well, never mind. They upgraded this to a 5.9. So this has been upgraded. That's the uh, reason why we're seeing this on the Kermadec Trench or Kermadec Islands area earthquake uh, seismograph view there. That's why it's showing up pretty significantly on that specific graph down here on the bottom. Uh, 5.9 showing up pretty good. But then again, I, I got some activity occurring in Yellowstone right now. Hold on a second here. So Lake Yellowstone showing some activity there. I'm not for sure if that's going to pick up. If that's, I, I don't think that's a 5.9 that's being picked up up there on Yellowstone. So we could have some further activity occurring in the North American area, North American plate. Uh, just all happening at once here, folks. I'm kind of um, not disoriented. Well, the USGS is disorienting me because they're not providing the data that uh, should be out there to the public. A lot going on at the moment, folks. Uh, we'll try to provide the uh, relevant information as it becomes available. Right now, 5.9, the latest quake on the EMSC, CSEM, European model, showing off the coast, the southeast coast of Japan, uh, 5.9. Uh, it's also being picked up, or some earthquake activity being picked up on the Kermadec Islands area. Um, 4.2, off the coast of Northern California, and some other activity occurring there in the Yellowstone National Park area. So, uh, so some significant movement taking place along the entire area of the Pacific Plate, as expected. If you watch my previous updated video there, uh, we kind of mentioned this. Wasn't expecting Yellowstone to pop off, but uh, we'll see exactly uh, what may be taking place there. Not showing up on the seismographs at the moment, but uh, definitely there on the uh, live view from Lake Yellowstone. I'm not for sure if that 4.2 Northern California would show up like that. Um, and it's hard to say if a 5.9 is going to show up strongly like that on the uh, Kermadec Islands area. Japan to Kermadec Islands is a significant distance. Um, so possibly that we could get it revised from a 5.9 to something, something uh, larger. Right now, the USGS is just still showing that uh, that earthquake there in off the coast of Northern California. Refreshing this data there shows that activity, even on the uh, on the USGS maps here. Let's go ahead and check them out real quick. Shows uh, 4.2, nothing in Japan. Come on, guys! It's Saturday. I know it's a weekend, but you know what? Where is the notifications at? Come on, get with the program. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here real quick, um, and we will provide a little bit more data as it becomes obviously accessible here on the channel.